Today is a big day for everyone in the US, or at least Western. I don't even know if other parts of the world do it. Let me see. Apparently Black Friday is celebrated around the world and people do use it. But this video is not about that. This video is about me influencing you not to do it. I think that Black Friday is a trick to get you to shop. Obviously, a lot of companies, I mean, I worked at retail, I worked in e-commerce, I worked in these kind of organizations, and I know that this time of year is a big revenue generator for them. I fell into that trap many times. I do utilize it to buy things that I absolutely need, but I make sure to do research beforehand. I make sure to follow specific items that I want for Black Friday in the summertime. So for example, there were a pair of shoes that I wanted. They're fairly new to the, to the market. Um, they make comfortable running shoes. When I first found the organization, the sneakers were about a hundred bucks. This was earlier this year, not that long ago, a few months ago, for about a hundred bucks. I think 109 for some, some it depends on the model you want. There's like the everyday one, then there's the running ones. I wanted the running ones, which were a little more expensive, but like 110, like not a big difference. And I was just checking to see if they had a sale for Black Friday. Obviously they do, but they raised the prices to 130 now. I'm like, huh, back in like when I first found them might've been sometime in May or June around there, 20 bucks more. And they have like a buy one, get one. So to me, that's, not really a deal because most of the time, I mean, do you buy if it's first time buying a new brand of sneakers, do you buy two pairs? No, usually you buy one to test it. Cause if you don't like it, guess what? You're not going to buy from them again. So it's two pairs to me. That's not a deal. <laughs> um, but in the past I have utilized black Friday to buy my MacBook. It was only a hundred bucks off, but it's better than nothing, right? That covers taxes pretty much this year with the rise of inflation with the cost of living continuing to go up and people saying it's not, but I talk to people every day, as I mentioned in the past for my job and it's hurting a lot of people, a lot, like the majority. I'm curious to hear your experience right now with the cost of living and pay and like companies are actually paying less. I'm seeing this cause I look at this market analysis all the time, even though government says we're getting paid more. Those are people who are on higher uh, salary benchmarks and, and they are getting paid more. But if you're in a lower bracket, not really, maybe minimum wage workers are getting a little bit more, but it's not keeping up with the pace of the cost of living. But anyway, during Black Friday, I like to support more local companies. So organizations really nearby, not the big daddies, you know, the Walmarts and the Amazons and the targets of the world. I'd say Black Friday is capitalism ideal. That's how true it is. Copper agrees. Why do we need to buy stuff? We definitely live in a culture where things have shifted. I read this and recently I just finished the book, The Road of, to Character. And I love the way he closed the, the book about in the 1950s and 60s, they did this survey study with college students. And more than half of college students back then were like, my ideal for my future is to continue to create meaning and purpose and be a valuable asset to my community. Simple, right? More than half. Now it has switched. More than half of folks going into college only care about money. And I understand money is a resource. We need it. We need it to make a living. But at a certain point, there's not much you need. You need it. Yes, a healthy savings account, just in case you need a healthy investment plan to make sure your future is solidified. You need enough money to pay your rent, buy your groceries, take care of your children, take care of your family. And then after that, maybe a car or two, depending on the size of your family and maybe some, you know, obviously money for fun, but it's not that much. It's less than you think if you know how to use your money correctly, instead of going out there buying Starbucks as ways to make better coffee at home. And we don't need a lot of clothes. You need a few items of clothing, maybe two weeks worth, and then you just mix and match. And there you go, you have a full closet. Some people don't see it that way. Some people have dozens of sneakers and shoes in their closet, which is, which is unnecessary. We've been tricked. We've been pulled by this economic machine 
that we've created as in humankind, which has worked. And I'm not knocking it. It has worked. Although, how long is it going to work? It's going to be eventually a time where we start saying, wait a minute. <laughs> and we wake up. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Why is it this way? Why Why do poor people spend the most money, which continue, keeps this economic machine going? Why do you think the rich get richer? Because the poor is buying, you know, from these companies that are doing well. So the rich invest in those companies. And, and then there's this whole cycle versus the poor doing differently and saying, hold on, let me stop buying from here. Instead, let me take that money, put it in an investments account and be very saying, what exactly do I need? What are the absolute necessities? And then go from there instead of buying things that are unnecessary. You know, I remember when I made the decision to buy my Mac it was tough because I was like, I don't need another computer, but I want to be able to have a fast computer to edit my videos because my laptop is an air. And that wasn't, it wasn't a good time to edit on that it would take forever. Um, and I just wanted something faster. So that was something that was a want because I just wanted a little bit more speed. Uh, luckily I got it for Christmas. So I didn't, have, I didn't pay for it, but that's like once in a year type of thing for me. To, to grab something and black friday is not time to shop i am not shopping this black friday i thought i was gonna buy those sneakers and then i saw what they did and i was just like nope never mind i don't need it right now until my running sh shoes right now until they start having holes in it i'll keep using them and i hope that you see this and you only buy things you absolutely need and stay away from everything else don't fall for the tricks don't fall for the marketing it's all there and if you want tips on how to not fall for marketing tactics and tricks, reach out to me because I study the shit out of that. <laughs> um, and I've worked with marketing teams in the past and asked questions about the, the, the work that they do. And it's very fascinating, but at the end of the day, it's it can be used for good or bad like anything. It's a gray area, but we tend to use it for more bad than good. Tell me your thoughts, comment below, and until tomorrow.